Hallelujah. Amen. I want to, amen. Thank God, amen, for Friday. Hallelujah. Thank God, amen, for allowing us to make it through the week. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God, amen, for making a way for us all week long and bringing us to this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Where we will be able to pray, amen, and gather together in his name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to read to you this morning, amen. Get your Bibles if you can or write it down. Amen. Luke chapter 11. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for some who's had a hard week. Amen. You didn't know how you was going to make it to Friday. Hallelujah. You can rejoice because Friday's here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going to Luke chapter 11. Amen. And I want to just be able to just add on to what we were talking about. Amen. On Wednesday. Amen. We were talking about faith, talking about believing God. Amen. Talking about trusting God. Amen. For, amen. Whatever it is that we're asking him for. Amen. Hallelujah. Talking about our faith. Amen. Igniting our faith for what God, amen, has spoken to us for. Amen. Or for the things that have been in our spirit, that have been on our heart. Amen. And I want to remind you this morning that God hears you. Amen that he hears everything that amen is on your heart that he has not forsaken you that he has not forgotten you amen even if you've had if you've been waiting for a long time amen hallelujah just like we said on Wednesday amen that God amen have told us amen to speak to the mountain and command it to move and if we believe it that it shall be done amen I want to speak to your faith again today amen and whenever God deals with us about our faith it's because we know that there is a test coming amen or we may be in the middle of a test and we need to have our faith charged we need to have our faith strengthened amen and so we want to look amen in Luke chapter 11 amen we're going to start at verse 9 amen and I'm reading from the NIV and he says so I say to you ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you for everyone who asks receives the one who seeks finds and the one who knocks the door will be open which of your fathers, this is verse 11, which of your fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And so I really just wanted to really just look at verse 11 and, and really focus in on the fact that if we ourselves and, and any of you who have children, you know that if your children come to you and they ask you for something and there's something on their heart, amen, and, and, it's, and it's, you know, something that they really, really desire, amen, and they come to you and ask you for it, it does your heart good to be able to give them what they are asking of you, you know, especially if they've been obedient and they've been following instructions, you know what I'm saying, and, and especially if they're respectful, hallelujah, especially today, glory to God, you know, and just to be able to give them what their heart's desire is, it blesses us as parents to be able to do that. And so Jesus is saying, look, if you who are evil know how to give your children what it is that you're asking for, he said, even the Father will give those who ask him of the Holy Ghost, amen, he'll give them the Holy Spirit. And I, and I want to even say that not just the Holy Ghost, but whatever. And that's why he said in the verses preceding that, that if we if we would ask that it shall be given if we would knock that it would be open to us if we would seek that we would find so he's given us amen an encouragement so that we would know amen that God hears everything that is on our heart even for us to come to him and ask him for his spirit he said he will give us his spirit that it's important to him that we would have him on the inside of us and so you know it's good for us to be reminded because sometimes we forget because of all the things that we might be facing or because of the time period that we have been waiting and then for some of us we may have been doing like we were talking about on Wednesday speaking to the mountain and it seemed like the mountain is not moving amen but we got to be per 
persistent. Amen. Hallelujah. And so when you get to that place where you're speaking and it seems like nothing has happened, you're asking and nothing has happened. You, you, you're knocking and nothing is opening up. Amen. You have to continue. Amen. Because when you look at the verses, it says, how much more will your father who is in heaven, amen, give good things to him that ask them. When you look at uh, Luke chapter 7 and verse 11, he says that anything that we ask, it, is, it gives God, it gives God pleasure to be able to answer our prayer. It gives God delight, just like us as a parent. It gives us a delight to be able to do those things that our children are asking for, those things that they are seeking us for. And so I would even say that even as we're asking God to make a way and do whatever things that it is that we need him to do, we need to be asking him, God, give us more of your spirit. Give us more of you. Pour into us, God, even the more. And I believe that even as he gives us more of him, amen, that we will be able to know how to pray, amen, concerning those things that are affecting us. We will know how to, amen, to, to get a hold of God, amen, concerning those situations and those issues, amen, that come against us, amen. And so I want to encourage you today, amen, that no matter what it is that you are going through, no matter what it is that you are facing, God hears you, amen, and and. and and it gives God great delight to give you the answer to your prayer. I don't care what the enemy have said. Amen. Keep speaking to that mountain until it be removed. Keep speaking healing in your body until you experience healing. Keep speaking to your finances until a door, amen, of financial amen, provision is open or until God send what you need through someone else. Amen. No matter what it is that we are facing, we got to have the kind of faith that is not moved, that is not not worried about what what you know what other people are saying because I know that people are watching us when we say that we believe in God for something. People are waiting to see. Okay, we're gonna wait and see if this is really gonna happen. This person always saying that they trust in God. This person always saying, you know, what I'm saying that you believe in God for something, you know. And sometimes people want to challenge that, you know, and they and secretly they may not be thinking that God is going to do what he said he's going to do but as long as you believe that God whatever he said that he's going to do it amen he is going to do it God hears you I can't even emphasize that or overemphasize the fact amen that it gives God pleasure to do amen what amen we have need of I want to skip up real quick Amen to verse five. Well, really, let's start at the, at the beginning up here where Jesus, amen, is giving them the teaching on prayer. And verse two, he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. Then said Jesus to them, suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him and suppose the one inside answers don't bother me the door is already locked and my children and I are in bed I can't get up and give you anything I tell you even though he would not get up and give the bread because of friendship yet because of your shameless audacity he will surely get up and give you as much as you have as much as you need and I love that part of the verse where it says that shameless audacity because you have the nerve to get up in the middle of the night and go knock on the door he's going to give you what you need amen and likewise God is the same way when we have the audacity to get up this early early in the morning and ask him for anything. Amen. He is going to do it because it brings him pleasure to meet our need. It gives him glory. Hallelujah. To make provision for his children. Amen. And God is not, we're not going to go to God and ask him. Amen. To meet our needs for health. Amen. And then he come, you know, and, and, you know, bless us with a car. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to give you what you have need of. And that's what he's saying when he says, when your son asks for a fish, you're not going to give him a snake instead. You're not going to give him something that's completely unrelated to what he's seeking you for. Something that's not even necessary. Amen. If he comes, amen, and asks you for an egg, you're not going to give him a scorpion. Why would you give him something that's going to hurt him? Why would you give him something, amen, hallelujah, that's not even going to help him? Hallelujah. So even for us, when we go to God, amen, 
blessing. And I'm not saying that God's not going to bless somebody with a vehicle. But when you go to God for something specific. Amen. Because you have a specific need. You got to know that because you had the audacity to get up and ask him. Hallelujah. He's going to do exactly what you are asking for because you believe him and because he takes pleasure in being able to meet the needs of his children and because he loves us and because he hears us. So I want your heart to be encouraged as you go through this weekend. Amen. Don't let anything move you off your faith. Keep speaking to that mountain. Keep declaring. Keep decreeing. Amen. And keep asking whatever it is. Ask and keep on asking. Ask and seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. Because you had the audacity, God will prove to you and even those around you that he hears you. I pray the Lord bless you and to keep your heart encouraged. Amen. Even as you go through your weekend, that he will keep you, that your services that you attend this weekend will be blessed and anointed and full of fire, the Holy Ghost. Amen. And that you will see God's provision in your life this weekend, that you will see the answer for the prayers that you have been praying and that you will see the proof that God hears you. God bless you. Have a good weekend. Amen. And we will meet again on Wednesday of next week by God's grace in prayer at 5 a.m. Bless you. Have a good weekend.